How's it going? I'm uh, Assistant Managing Editor Gabe Wisnett, joined today for the first time by Mr. Jed Blackwell, our new high school sports reporter. Uh, this is uh, my first time meeting Jed, so you know, first of all, welcome to the newsroom, welcome to the Herald Journal. Um, I know a lot of sports fans around here know who Jed is, but for those who don't, kind of give us a quick bio about yourself and, and you know what made you uh, you want to be a sports writer in the first place. Well, thank you very much. Glad to be here. Um, I've been a sports writer for, uh, gosh, going on 22, 23 years now. Um, first at the coast, I was at Loris and North Myrtle Beach for a while. Uh, recently in Spartanburg County, uh, first at Hometown News and then at Spartanburg Sports Report. I I'm delighted to be at the Herald Journal now. Uh, I've wanted to do this since I watched Steve Sanders do it. <laughs> nice. Uh, that many years ago, um, senior in high school, I had been injured and was keeping stats and we talked for a while at several basketball games. Chapman was very good back in those days and um, told Mr. Sanders a lot about his business and I always have kind of had a penchant for journalism and I, I'm just I'm tickled to death to get to do it here now. What's your you know, what, what's your favorite thing about covering high school sports? What do you enjoy the most? Uh, the stories. Uh, the, the, the kids. Uh, the games are secondary to me. I, I love a great game now as much as anybody does. I usually use this story to illustrate it. I watched a, a wrestler from Union and a wrestler from Broome back when it was still Union, <laughs> be right. before the Union County days. And uh, they weren't going to see each other again later in the season. They were at a, a tournament around Christmas. And uh, the Union wrestler hit a, hit a reversal out of nowhere on the Broome kid and pinned him. And the Broome kid jumped up, shook his hand, put his arm around him and said, show me. And they walked off in the corner and he showed him the move. Wow. Um, yeah. Stories like that, the little personalities, everything that's ancillary to the games for most other people is what gets me going. I love things like that. Nice. Uh, so we'll dive into the, the high school football season. We had week one. We're not calling it week zero. It's week one. We'll get that out there. Uh, you were at Dorman for Dorchester yes. last week. What was your biggest takeaway from that game? My biggest takeaway is second time I've seen him now, Dakari and Joyner, a lot of the time didn't look like an SEC quarterback. He looked like an NFL athlete. That kid, ball in his hands, he is as dangerous as they get. Dorman's offensive line is going to be able to dictate the pace in some games. But they got behind the other night, and once Fort Dorchester got some air and got ahead of them, it's awful hard to contain Joyner. If anybody can knock off this Dutch Fork monster that's become kind of the, the 5A class of the field here here lately, I think it's Fort Dorchester. They're, they were pretty unbelievable the other night. And what else from week one jumped out at you? It looks like Burns is back, huh? Right. <laughs> 51 nothing over a Myrtle Beach team that was returning a good bit of talent. I had them ranked in the top ten in, in, in our prep poll last week. I, I was convinced that Myrtle Beach was going to come up here. And I, I think I picked Burns to win it, but not 51 yeah. to nothing. That's a big margin. Yeah. Uh, Coach Shaw has got those boys believing again. Um, there's been some discipline uh, reinstilled over there. The community's excited. Uh, I think I'm expecting a, a bunch of great things out of Burns this year. And moving quickly ahead to week two, you know, plenty of storylines um, as we, you know, get going through the season. But uh, what's maybe no a number one for week two for you? Well, having just talked about Burns, let's talk about Burns and Greer. Um, those two communities, those two schools, genuinely don't like one another in the best possible way. Right. Uh, in, in that the rivalry mindset, it, it was a historic rivalry for years and years, and they got away from playing. And now with the with the point system out the window, they can play again. And I think this is going to be the best Burn versus Greer game in quite a while. It's a, a contrast in styles. You got that Greer, huge Greer offensive line that just wants to lean on people. Uh, defensively, Burns is, is pretty good up front. So I guess we're going to see who moves. Um, I, I'm really looking forward. I think that would be a good, good matchup. All right. Well, Jed will be joining us all season long on these videos. So look for those. Look for his byline. And we'll see you soon.